this is a lens so wide, I'm not even worried about if I'm in frame or not. I know I'm in frame because the lens is that wide. It's a fisheye lens from me. Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters. One of the issues with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera or pretty much any Micro Four Thirds camera is the ability to find wide angle lenses. Now, one of the options is buying something like the Canon 10 to 18, which is a lens that a lot of people buy and adapt to the Micro Four Thirds system using a Metabones or Viltrox adapter. But that lens is between $150 to $200 and it starts at F4. Another option is something like this. The Mink F2 6.5 millimeter fisheye lens. Now I know you're thinking, well, fisheye, isn't that gonna distort? Yes, it is. It's going to distort, but there is a fix for that. And that's something called Alex 4D, which is something I looked into because I'm thinking, wait a minute, has it been updated? I have it, it works great. And all that does is uses a function similar to what GoPro uses to uh, take the distortion out of the footage. Another thing I like about this lens is that it's fast. And you guys know with these cameras, especially the Black Magic, you want to let a lot of light in. Now, one thing I will say about uh, these cameras, especially the Black Magic Pocket, it gets a bad rap for not being a good low light camera. But I think nowadays any camera gets a bad rap for basically not being a Sony. It's like, well, you can't see in the dark with this camera. Well, no, it's, it's a camera. You put fast lenses on it, use lighting and you get the image you want to get. I've used a lot of cameras at night, same thing with all of them. You put a fast lens on them, go to a decently lit area, never had a problem. You won't have a problem either. You have all kinds of cheap lighting you can get nowadays, and if you're in the city, you can go to a downtown area or a place that's well lit and get great lighting. So I don't know why these cameras get such a bad rap for poor lighting. But but since Sony cameras are practically night vision, you know, everybody's like, well, your camera needs to do that. And I don't think that's necessary. I think you can get some very good imagery with it simply being night, but well lit. I mean, you know, that's, that's what you do. When I actually do start shooting with this camera, you're probably gonna see a lot of this in a 24 millimeter and maybe the 50. So those three are my fast lenses. But in the daytime, you'll see this guy. This is my all-around lens. Of course, it's the Canon kit lens. You'll see this actually making the rounds uh, on a lot of scenes. So there you have it, guys. The Mink F2 6.5 millimeter lens. I think you're going to be impressed by the image and sharpness, especially for the price. Now, I did look around YouTube for some more nighttime footage with this lens particularly on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, and I didn't find any, so here's uh, some more of my footage. This is ProRes footage, all done with street lighting. I used the Blackmagic to rec 709 LUT from Color Grading Central, and I used the Alex 4D wide angle fix for distortion correction. Keep in mind that this lens is very wide and it's manual, so you want to make sure your fingers don't get in the shot. You guys take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters, Asta. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew. One day, and this is it the borderline to where the future leaves us behind. The fire will burn.